Well, holy smokes, guys. Microsoft is back at it again. We got some massive news about Xbox. We got some pretty good news about Battlefield 6, some Call of Duty news. We also have free PSN content for PlayStation Plus. So let's go for maybe two likes on the video. And for your reward, here's a picture of a baby goat out here. So smash the like button for that one. But coming in at number eight, apparently Bethesda Starfield is a confirmed exclusive for Xbox and PC, and it will not release for PS5. It's claim. Shout out to the homie for adding me in this situation. And Ackman says that Microsoft didn't pay 7.5 billion dollars for nothing And this is something that we talked about a while ago Like I like to cover everything for PlayStation and Xbox whenever there's big news I like to cover it so hit the subscribe bell I got you do but this is something that we talked about a while ago that the fact that daddy Phil Spencer paid them like 7.5 billion dollars They surely did not pay them to go ahead like buy moisturizers and do helicopters with their release They paid them to actually make games for the Xbox and that's what's happening and and I totally understand the pain out here because, you know, brother out here says that is it really an Xbox exclusive if it's gonna be on PC too though? Like, it's good to open it up to more players, but where's the app killer or killer app for Series X if all games can be bought on PC? Now, man, you gotta stop right here, okay? Because I want this game on the PC as well because I'm not really a big fan of Bethesda, but let's say Starfield comes out, it hits me in the G, it hits other people in the G, well, well, they can try the game on Game Pass, and I see PlayStation doing the same thing in the future right they already have started to experiment and put out some games on the pc but do i think we're gonna see games like god of war coming on the pc as quote unquote uh pc and ps5 exclusive likely not all right I, I can see maybe like god of war being on ps5 for like a year straight maybe two years and then there they will probably put on pc which is good but it's not as good as something like microsoft but i totally understand the language of pain out here because the homie says that but tester didn't get give PS4 or PS5 exclusives, but the second they partner up with Xbox, they give them exclusives. I totally understand the language of pain out there, but you gotta understand that they ate the whole studio alive. They bought the whole studio, okay, to get the games on the Xbox ecosystem, the, the Xbox, right? The streets are saucing it up, and the news is coming from Jeff Grubb. We got Daniel Ahmed who says that this is likely gonna be on the Game Pass as well, and now we got an article written by the VGC as well. Now, personally, I'm not into Bethesda games out there, but I totally understand, like, the place players out there the sony ponies out there who may be on ps4 ps5 they might be big fans of bethesda out there they are really gonna get squashed but it is what it is man like sony is gonna be chesting up microsoft is chesting up both of them are gonna chest up and in a way competition is good right because even playstation recently announced that they got 25 exclusive games in the works also in the news naughty dog came out and they did have people in the first half okay they said that we're excited to continue uncharted 4's five-year anniversary celebration by announcing that we're teaming up with Prime One Studio. Can't wait to share more with you soon. Now, if you're a normal Homo sapien out there, you're gonna look at this and you're gonna be like, "Yo, there's like they're likely gonna remaster Uncharted 4. We're likely gonna see like the PS5 upgrade, maybe 60 FPS, maybe 120 FPS, but not so fast, buckos, because apparently this is a figurine account. Like I went over on their Twitter account and you can see that they're making like figurines, they're making statues, and you got homies around the streets who say that I'm so confused. What does this mean? Uh, it could mean an upgrade for the PS5 for sure. Uh, no, they create collectible statues. This golf club studio strikes once again. Now, personally, I'm a huge fan of Uncharted, and I kind of wish we actually had a 60 FPS upgrade, guys. Release the 60 FPS patch, you goons. Also, in the news, Ratchet and Clank ripped apart PS5 file size and preload date revealed. Apparently, it's gonna be 42.183 gigabytes, and you can actually pre-download on June 4th. Now, just to compare the size, my guy, we got Warzone with... 200 million gigabytes 42 gigs sounds so good to my ears because when you compare that with warzone that's like 200 million gigabytes out there i actually kind of like warzone okay sometimes i play it i kind of enjoy it with friends but 42 gigs sounds so good and because you already know black ops new size is gonna be 141 gigs because we're getting a new update season 3 reloaded is gonna be coming out on may 20th and according to playstation game sizes the game is gonna be 5.5 gigs or the update is gonna be 5.5 gigs that would be heaven if the game was 5.5 gigs, right? The download may be slightly higher, and personally, I call this cap. We're surely gonna get like two, three updates, like we always do, right? Like they give us an early update, and once we install that, boom, we get another update. But if it's really 5.5 gigs, I gotta clap it up for that Chutia Gandu Activision, okay? Like, let me just keep above 50. On the other hand, apparently, 20 minutes of the Division Heartland gameplay got leaked online, as well as a video from Ubisoft that warns close test players to not leak the game. Now, this is a content 
event that I love to see, right? I saw the video by myself. I, I, I surely cannot play it because if I do it, I'll get DMCA'd because it's early gameplay. And apparently somebody leaked the whole thing. They leaked the whole thing. And I remember when I had the chance to play Watch Dogs early, I was showing a similar video where they told me to not leak anything, which is like understandable, rightfully so. Like if you're signing an NDA, you should not leak stuff. Otherwise you can get ganked on the likes of which you've never. This brother out here, he leaked the whole thing. And I'm not sure if he got caught or not. And even if he gets caught, are they really gonna publicly talk about it? Yeah, guys, like this guy, look at this guy. Okay, this guy leaked it and uh, uh, we kind of caught him. On the other hand, we also had a GTA 5 realism mod. So you can see the, on the right hand, that's like the realism, like the updated mod. And on the left hand, that's the original GTA 5. And the funny thing about this one here is that the video is only 720p. We could have absolutely used more pixels for a mod like that, but I don't know, guys. It does look pretty good. And if you like read the comments, you will see everybody saying, that well they made gta 5 look like gta 4 which is kind of true and you know what i was thinking this for a while gta 4 if you play that on pc the game looks like real life and imagine this if the game came out today instead of 2008 the game graphics would have been way better this is why i'm really excited for gta 6 whenever that game comes out that game is probably gonna be on the next level and i also do think that yeah the weight is very very painful right now but let's be real we got ps5 we got xbox series x both of these consoles are out right now and the game is likely not gonna be coming out anytime soon whenever it does i think it's gonna be good because the game is likely gonna be on next gen but knowing take two knowing rockstar they're likely gonna put it on last gen consoles or who knows man the game might come out by the end of ps5 life cycle and then it's gonna be on playstation 6 and then whenever playstation 7 comes out they're gonna be remastering it again just like how they put it on ps3 smash the like button if you know these are facts but this is a really good mod okay i wish we actually had this video in 4k also in the news we're in the battlefield 6 to feature game changing destruction says ea this goes very well with what tom said a while ago basically levolution does not exist in this game because levolution is not even the correct term to describe the destruction that we're gonna see in this game mostly every single building is gonna be destructible and this is what daddy ea said the game has everything that the fans love about battlefield epic scale all-out warfare unexpected moments and game-changing destruction and it takes it to the next level through the power of next-gen consoles and pc we're excited to reveal the game to fans next month and show a lot more about the game throughout the summer and personally i'm kind of sus about this quote out here because surely they're gonna be taking the next gen power to make the destruction happen but what about like the sony pony ps4 what about the the base xbox vcr are they gonna be able to run this game i'm not sure i don't want this game to end up like cyberbug where we heard that you know playstation pulled out governments got involved uh, investors tried to gank and they got sued this and that and then people are asking for refunds and i want to know if you're on ps4 or xbox one what is most important to you fps or destructibility surely we're gonna have destruction on the next gen console it's likely gonna be 60 fps hopefully even 120 fps and it's gonna be on last gen so would you go with like full-on destruction or would you go with maybe 60 fps on the other hand starting tomorrow this is gonna be all the free content that you can get with the sony pony playstation plus uh basically this is all the content for rocket league you're gonna be able to get some content for brawlhalla make sure you pause the video right here to read everything that's gonna be free and starting may 20th we're gonna be getting a uh, five double xp tokens for Call of Duty Warzone as well. But check out this video on the screen. Hit the subscribe bell so I can interrupt you every time you're about to score on your crush. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.